today we're going to be going kayak fishing. As you guys know, in one of the last kayak episodes, we caught a really big fish. Ended up catching the PB on the kayak. My PB before was four pounds, and that fish was somewhere close to eight pounds. We didn't have a scale, but today we have it. We're about to be going out on this beautiful lake, dropping the kayaks in, and trying to catch some good fish. So we have Alan Bob's kayak out here today, um, and then we have my kayak over here. There. These are both bona fides. We're gonna go ahead and get them off the trailer, rig a few poles up, and um, try to just catch some big fish. I'm really excited about today because it's just beautiful. Last couple of days it was raining, it was a little nasty outside, a little chilly, and today it's like bluebird skies. It just feels amazing. It's gonna be getting up to 70 degrees today. Got Cody behind the camera, we're ready to make it happen today, but if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. If you guys didn't know, hitting the like button really helps out the videos. If you guys want to support your boy, I really appreciate it. Also, drop some comments down below. And if you guys want to see the kayak videos, let your boy know because I kind of want to get into it some more. Take the kayak to some different places, go travel with them, and just all on out, film some cool kayak videos. I was driving down the road. It's about a 20-minute drive from my house, not too far. You know, I have Alan Bob's kayak, I have my kayak. But look at this. Alan Bob's uh, paddle, like, fell off during the drive, and it just got wedged right here. Look at this. It can't move anywhere. And God that this thing did not fall off on the highway because Allen Bob probably would have killed me. Wait, wait a second, Cody. This isn't Allen Bob's. There's already two. Look, this is Allen's, and then we have mine. This is the one that I had. I had a third kayak up here I took off this morning. This is Delton's. Delton would have killed me. Oh my gosh. All right, that just mind blew me for a second. I thought this was Allen Bob's. So this is the third. We just have an extra paddle laying around. All right, time to get the kayaks in the water. I'm excited about today. Here we go. We are off. Well, we forgot our fishing poles. I think it's the most important thing today rather than the camera. Just make sure I don't fall in here. Okay, we're good. How in the heck do I forget my fishing rods out of everything? Like, really? Right, we got the poles, and I brought a lot today. I brought five with me. All right, I think I might start in on this side since we didn't fish it last time. All right, so it's time to rig up a rod real quick. I brought five with me, might be a little too much, but we got this combo right here, Custom Pro on a Mach 2. We have this red eye shad right here, and this is the one we've been catching a lot of fish on, but I'm gonna cut it off. I might tie it on. I was thinking about throwing it, which I think we can catch some fish, but at the same time, I really wanna rig up one of these rage crawls and this is what we caught the big fish on in the last kayak video so i don't mind cutting this off tying on an old rage crawl one fourth ounce bullet weight three extra wide gap hook put the weight on first i'm gonna tie this extra wide gap with a uni knot Just like that. Now we're gonna take these rage crawls and this is in summer crawl. Exactly what I caught that PB, kayak PB on. There we go. Just like that. There is no way I got one. First cast, and it's a freaking good one. Oh my god, I think my phone almost fell into those pliers. That was really first cast. I just decided to throw off on the edge of that grass, and look at that. 
am I doing? Pay attention to Cody. I think he has one. Does he have one? No, he missed one. Look at that. That's an easy two pounder. Look how fat that, or long that fish is, really. Long and got a little gut to him right there. I cannot believe that. First cast. This is exactly what happened the last time we came out here. We caught one on the first cast, then we didn't catch one for a while, but hopefully we can keep the momentum rolling. About a solid pound and a half right there. I don't know if she's exactly two. But beautiful markings on these fish in this clear water. Let's get her back in. What a way to start the day. Thank you, baby. There she goes. What a way to start the video. I haven't even moved the boat. I just like saw that little tiny grass point right there. And I was like, you know what? While I'm sitting here on the edge of this grass, we might as well throw one. Before I know it, the fish about jerked the rod out of my hand. And man, that's crazy. That is awesome. I'm telling you, I think it's a summer crawl. I might need to go toss Cody a few of these because he's going to be fishing around this morning. They just catch them. I don't understand this color, especially in clear water. Ooh, baby. Wait, dude. It looks like there's almost a bed there. Yeah, bro, I might have caught that fish off bed. Like, actually, I'm going to throw another cast there. Yeah, that was definitely in the mail. Wow, dude, there's no way. If we catch one bigger than that right here, that fish was definitely on bed. Which is crazy. I think they're starting to push up early this year. But I was like sitting down when I made that cast. Now that I stand up, there's like this bed that's right off the end of this point. So I have this jerk bait tied on. KVD jerk bait. I wanted to try it out here. It gets pretty deep out on this side. That's why I wanted to start in this side over here. I caught some fish on a lipless out here in the middle. Still got some grass out here, but it's a lot deeper. It'd be awesome when we can get on a jerk bait bite. Oh my god, first cast. First cast, dude. Are you serious? Oh, it's a freaking good one. Let's go. Right out here in the middle. That might be where the bigs are. Look at that. That's a big one. Oh my god. No way. Freaking big one. Loosen my drag a little bit. This is a three plus pounder on the jerk right out here in the middle first cast. <laughs> That's why you go with your instincts. That might be a four pounder. Yeah, it's a good one. First cast on a jerk bait in the middle. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Got it right in the side of the head. Look at that one right there. That is a solid Look at that fish. Oh my God, are you kidding me? First cast on a jerk bait, super ultra clear water. We got this natural color, like a sexy shag color with a little bit of purple. We got a chartreuse line down the middle. This baby just grabbed it and that is a freaking big one right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Dude, look at that. <laughs> First cast on the jerk bait. That's a freaking, that's a good fish. There we go guys, second fish of the day, and that is a solid three number. That is a good fish right there. We're gonna get a weight on her. She's got a little bit of dookie coming out of her booty, but that's a good fish right there. Thick and healthy. Just picked up that jerk bait, and I was like, you know what, we're gonna try out here in the middle, and I'm not even kidding, first cast, we land this girl. Those bigger ones might be pushed off on that deeper grass. Got her zeroed out. That's exactly what I thought. It's a little shy. Three pounds, six ounces almost three pounds seven ounces so almost a three and a half pounder three pounds eight ounces to be three and a half a little bit shy of it but that is a good bass right there respectable fish right there on the jerk bait let's go ahead and get her back in the water and start making some more cast out deep because that might be where these big girls are sitting this morning let's get that girl back in the water look how clear the water is out here too it's beautiful love to get on a jerk bait bite like that if they're gonna eat it There she goes. 
What a way to start the video. First cast, we catch one. Then we pick up the jerk bait. First cast on the jerk bait. Boom, we caught one. It was about like a 15, 20 minute span between those two catches. And Cody like came up to me and he was like, I know how you are with the first fish. Like the first fish is either really good luck to me or really bad luck. I've had days where I go out, catch one on my first cast and don't have a bite for hours. So I'm glad we got that. But let's keep on making some casts out here in the middle with this jerk bait. It's just like, it's a deep, deep jerk bait too. And it has this grass that like stands up like about four or five foot off the bottom. That's probably where that fish was. It was right out there in the middle. I wonder if that's where the big ones sit off. I just wonder if there's more down there. I swear I just saw one swim down after my bait. Could be wrong, but. And I was right. Dang it. Picked it up so weird. Messed my bait all up. Look at that. He was swimming after me. <clears throat> I thought I saw one dive down at my bait and it felt like one slapped it. Just wasn't eating it all the way. I was correct on that one. <clears throat> I was about to say, I don't know if I'm going crazy or not. Super deep. Should be one. Oh my god, there's one on bed. Oh, he swam away. He's right there. Oh, they're so good. Big fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. He's gonna eat me. He's gonna eat me. He's gonna eat me. He's about to eat it. Oh my god, he almost ate it. That's his bed. That fish is on bed right there. They're not locked. I can't see him anymore. He's got a slight ripple. Gosh, I can't believe that. He was so close to eating that bait. He just hammered me right there. I have no idea why he didn't eat it, but he could be on bed right there. Just kind of slapped it sideways once my crawl. Oh my God, that big fish in front of me. That fish is probably three pounds. This is crazy. I wish you guys could see this. I don't know if you can see it exactly. I'm gonna keep my bait on this bed until this fish like shows back up. Cause I really think I can catch him. Oh my God. He's, he's about to eat it. He's about to eat it right here. He's literally has his nose on it. Oh my God. Please eat it. You guys have no idea he's nose down. Oh my God. Eat it, please. If you guys saw this. Please eat it. He's getting closer. I think he's about to eat it. He's so close. Gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a good one too. I think he's like three, three and a half pounds. I'm bound and determined to catch this fish now. 
I'm gonna keep that bait right in the middle of his bed. Oh my God, he's eyeballing it. What if I try the chatterbait on there? I had to change my battery out. That fish is looking right at my chatterbait. She's so finicky. These fish are in that weird stage right now. It's gonna be some of the hardest fish to catch. I'll just hit her with it and make her mad. Oh man, she just turned her head. She's not gonna eat. Oh, he just, oh, he just ate it, didn't he? Yeah. There he is. Oh, it's a good one too. Look at that, it's the three pounder, fat as can be. We've been waiting so long for this bite. Oh yeah. Look how pretty that fish is in the water. Nice. That's a solid two number. Let's go. <laughs> right in my hands. Look at how fat that bass is right here. Look at that. Wow. That's exactly what we want today is some fat, chunky bass like that. It's crazy how healthy these fish have gotten in this lake right here. Like I said, we fished this many of years before and there's a lot of smaller bass, but right now all these big girls are pushed up shallow and they're starting to push up, getting ready to bed and spawn. They're just so thick and healthy. And the colors on that fish right there are just amazing. It's been a while since I've had a bite, but we, we made it work. That's fish number three of the day. We've had some good ones too. It's a solid two pounder. <laughs> there she goes. Oh my gosh. I got him. He feels big. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Where did all these good fish come from? Oh yeah, not a bad one at all. It's a two number. Nice. Gosh, they're eating this jerk bait. I should have thrown it more earlier. Right out here in the middle. Look at that. That's a high two pounder. Look at that fish. That's a beautiful one right there. Yeah, that's a two number. It's probably a two and a half pounder, two and three quarters at the max. But wow, they just smoked that jerk bait today. And you know, it's no clouds in the sky. It's just bluebird sky. It's got that natural color. A little bit of wind coming back in here. But some of these bigger bass that are pushed offshore, they're definitely eating that jerk bait. They're wanting something to react to. And one thing I noticed on this fish, it's got like this cut right here on top of his head, which is very interesting. A beautiful fish. That's our fourth one of the day. We're putting together a really good bag out here on the yaks. Old Strike King Jerkbait getting it done. Another another good bass. Got a fish on bed. Right there. Oh, he's running away. He saw me. I was about to say, I just released that fish. I was going to pick up this crawl and just flip it in front of that. <gasps> oh, dude, he almost ate it right there. He He's going to eat it. What in the world just happened, dude? He went after my bait right there, act like he was about to eat it. Whoa, I hope the GoPro saw that. I just thought he was gonna eat it right there. I can't believe the fish was triggered. But those ones that are roaming out in the middle, I mean, they're eating this jerk bait pretty good. Right there, that's a big one, dude. That's a huge one. I think. Oh yeah. Oh no, that was a four pounder. Oh, that was a four pounder. I had him hooked so weird. My drag is so loose too. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking small one. Oh my God, my, my paddle. 
<laughs> oh man, I thought it was a freaking big one. As fat as can be though. It's pretty colors on these bass. Look at that. Y'all love catching them on this jerk bait. I don't get to catch them on a jerk bait too often when I really could, you know, I just don't get to throw it too much. But jerk bait catches them. Jerk bait catches them. Back in my tournament days, you know, that, that was a bait I always had with me. Jerk bait is a great bait. Catching a lot of fish. I also catch some really good ones on it too. If you throw the right one. I'm really enjoying the Strike King one right here. These fish like it. There we go. About a little pound and a halfer. Little fat belly. Nice. Sometimes they trick you on the jerk bait. They have that back hook and that's all they have and they feel so big because they use the bait as leverage. So we just got off the water. That is going to conclude this video, but let me tell you, we had a good time. Caught some on the jerk bait, caught some on the crawl, had a few bites on the punching rig we didn't get done. Chance is actually coming out with his boat right now. We're going to be punching all the grass around the lake. So stay tuned for that video. Be subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. But I love you so much.